We'll give you a Trader Joe's haul. Ooh, yeah. Good morning guys and welcome to the working room. Mary and I are just working on packing up some orders from our online store. We just got a new shipment of stickers in. We have our Fry Life. Whoop. Focus, focus. It just wants to focus on Mary. Fry Life Laugh Every Day stickers and our I choose joy stickers. I actually need to re, uh, restock those over here. Restock those in your little compartments. Yeah. There's like a little sticker organizing station over there. I'm working on making some I choose joy tote bags, which are these gray tote bags that we put in I choose joy patch onto with the heat press and we're just doing our thing. You had an early morning this morning. I did have an early morning. I had a meeting uh, downtown and then I came back from the meeting and got a few things done and we had some friends come over to our back deck for like an hour and then it started getting really hot out. <laughs> what did you say the heat index it said was? 106. 106. And so we are thankful today for air conditioning. Somebody said last night, I think the these three days, I don't know what three days, but the three days that we're in right now, I think are kind of the most brutal of the summer. Which is hard to believe because, I mean, when it, when it would say 90 degrees feels like 102, yeah. that felt hotter than it does today. I'm guessing it has to do with the humidity level. Yeah. But, I mean, if we were outside right now, I bet it would be pretty toasty. But, thankfully, we are inside in the air conditioning, getting some work done, and welcome to our day, guys. All right, we are gonna go take the stuff to the postal, and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. We very rarely go to Trader Joe's. Very rarely. But I feel like there was a season in our life where we used to go there frequently. Yes, because it was on our regular route. Oh, when we lived on the North Shore of Boston. Yes, and you would go to babysitting. Remember, you would go out to like North Reading and it would take you down 114. It okay. was on 114. I All feel right. like I feel All like right. that was part of. But what 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 was your first experience at Trader Joe's? I'm trying to remember. Well, Chicago. Okay. Yeah, who, I used to get you? I don't remember who took me, but I used to get the fried rice in the freezer section. That's right. And you would get the it for me too. Frozen strawberries. That's right. I forgot about the fried rice in the in the bag. You Maybe we should it up get that. Skillet. Yeah, that was that was fun. Good okay, times. let's go do the things. All the. We'll things. give you a Trader Joe's haul. Ooh yeah. I think this is one of the coolest parts. All of the dried fruit and nuts. And this is what I used to love, the freeze-dried fruit. And the bananas are the best, but they're out of them right now. Yes. They like grow in the water. We'll show you when we get home. Okay, we did it. It was so fun. It was nostalgic. It was very nostalgic. I mean, even like, in the freezer section, I saw the frozen asparagus and I remembered I used to get the frozen asparagus when I was in college living in the dorm. Yeah. And I cooked the asparagus in the pan. I think that's a that's another funny thing. In yesterday's vlog, I was talking about how like different life moments distinguish time frames of our lives, yes. like pre-beard and post-beard. Yep. And then you have these segments of your life where you had these foods that you ate or watched. Whoa! Rejo! Uh, Alright, you guys ready for a little haul? This was fun. This was super fun. Arugula. Three red peppers. Dryer balls. We I've never tried dryer balls before. 
We've never tried this tiki tikka vegetables. So we're thinking we'll use this and make chicken with it. And like have tikka masala, chicken tikka masala. Yep. And put it with like probably this frozen, mm. or I don't know if we'll use this one. This frozen rice is so good. I make my own rice and put it in the freezer now, but I don't have brown rice. So this is like a super easy, put it in the microwave and have some dinner. Like throw this on top, boom. One of the best deals that we got is burrata cheese at Trader Joe's is so much cheaper than like, this was $4.99 versus our local grocery store. It was $10.99 when we bought it last. Yeah. There's that. But with our tomatoes we grew in our garden, we have a lot ready right now. And so we plan to have burrata and tomato on arugula three times in the next few weeks. So that's good. Vegan ranch crunch salad. I think it was on sale. It was a good deal. Mary is a sucker for tortillas. When they look good. You know when like tortillas are kind of more bready and... These are almost like you can see through it. Yeah, it's more like dense. It's, yeah. Or, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's, like, it's not fluffy. It's like a yes. moister. Yes, more dense I think. Here you yeah. go, you wanna show that? Oh yeah, the froze, uh, not frozen, dried fruit is always a must at Trader Joe's. Also, we really risked ourselves in there for you guys because we wanted to show you a couple of things. If you've never been to a Trader Joe's, we wanted to show you a couple of things like the fruit and nut section, but there were employees like walking by and apparently you're not supposed to film in there. I do not understand this. I'm like, don't you want to share the love? Aye, aye, aye. We did not get yelled at, thankfully, but we were nervous. <laughs> okay, we got, again, we have these tomatoes that we grew in our garden, so we need to eat them. And Peter made a homemade sauce last week. I didn't know what I was doing, but I just, we were going out of town, so I threw a tomato in a pan with some oil and spices and... Put it on some ravioli. It was delicious. So we bought some more ravioli. Mozzarella log. Nice, pre-sliced. Yeah. Homemade, or what is this, like raw pizza dough? Pizza dough, we're gonna try, I've never tried making pizza on my smoker grill, Yeah. which I've heard is like a good thing to do. So we're gonna try it. Um, these looked like tiny round Milano cookies to us. So we thought we should probably try those. Actually, we should probably try those right now. That sounds pretty good. So more red peppers, more burrata. We got frozen swordfish, frozen ahi tuna. We are branching out into our fish world. And we also bought fresh salmon to eat. Mm -hmm. And we were considering the frozen fried fish nuggets, which I used to enjoy. They are good, I'll, I'll be honest. They're, they're really good, but we were like, that's a bad idea for us. It'll probably give us a stomach ache. So we opted for the non-fried food instead. Okay, let's try these. Trader Joe's Milano's. It looks like a good, mm. It's That's nice, but I would get Milano's. I like the texture, softer. yeah. Yeah. But this has a lot of chocolate. That's what I was gonna say. This is a good um, proportion of, they aren't skimping on the chocolate. And the chocolate's a good dark chocolate. Mm. Nice. Oh, they nice. A classic, the veggie fried rice we were talking about, and mandarin orange chicken. Easy little Chinese knife. We got, oh yeah, salmon and smoked salmon. Oh yeah, this is the ends and pieces. So it was a lot cheaper. This was cheaper than even Aldi price as well. I've never tried smoked ahi tuna, which I usually like ahi tuna like at a restaurant. So I saw this and never even seen a smoked ahi tuna. So I thought, Worth a try. 
got a little bag of chocolate espresso beans. I got everything. This is so funny. Everything but the bagel season, sesame seasoning. I think this was the original one. I think Trader Joe's probably was the original creators and now everybody makes a knockoff. This, I think, is cheaper than Aldi. This was only $1.99. I think. Trader Joe's, it was $1.99. I was trying to remember what Aldi was. Yeah. Sun-dried tomatoes, did you just say that? No, that's that's for when we make Tuscan chicken. Okay, the sponges we were talking about, it's 12 of the sponges for $8. And they're a product of France, made from natural vegetable cellulose. Anyway, I'll show you, remind me to show you when we get home. And I got, or Mary got this for me, Teach Tree Tingle Shampoo. I love me a tingly shampoo. Oh my. Um, I bought some linguine. Sometimes I crave linguine, and so it'll be good to have that on hand. And a gallon of milk. I would say the majority of the items were a good deal. Yeah. I mean, things like, I don't know. Like, I, it all adds up, but like... Some things like milk would be cheaper at Aldi. But barely. Barely. Okay. It was $3.29, and I think at Aldi it's around $3. Three dollars. Okay. Um, so, yeah. It's it's kind of, I find it's kind of hit or miss yes. at Trader Joe's. Some things are like the burrata. Amazing deal. Amazing. You can't beat it. Yeah. Um, a lot of things are equivalent. Yep. And then some things are more expensive. Like, some things are specialty. Yeah. Obviously, we stayed away from most of the specialty stuff because, I don't know, I, I'm not that adventurous, and so if I don't love it, then I feel like I wasted my money. Like, I'm a little nervous about these, but I hope they'll be okay. I think if we had a Trader Joe's closer to us, we would shop there from time to time. Yes. It's about 20 minutes, and yeah. we just have so many things closer. Um, this was $1.99, I believe. So I think for the both of us, and then the rice... It's $3 for three of those packets. So I figure for $3 plus add maybe like a chicken breast or something, it's a, it's an affordable but easy, quick, like convenience meal. Yeah. That hopefully won't give us stomach aches. Who knows though? We'll, oh. we'll keep you updated. <laughs> All right, we'll show you that sponge when we get home. Hey Mary, should we show them the sponge? Hey Peter. <laughs> Let's show them the sponge. Oh, but for real, we gotta show you the sponge. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there's the sponges. Here you go. Right. We learned about these when we lived with, how old was he, like about 89? He wasn't, I don't think he was that old. 88 or 89, I think. Okay. Whatever, yeah, An mid 80s. Man that we lived with, we loved him. And he had these sponges. Okay, ready? Yep. You got a close up? Enough, close enough up. Okay, show me the sponge. Wow. So, out with the crusty old one. And in with the new one. Oh, it's nice and fluffy. Nice. And tip for you, these are at the Dollar Tree. Little sponge holder. Yep. Kind of a life changer. Well guys, thanks for Coming to Trader Joe's with us? No, we need to show them our dinner. Okay. It's gonna be so beautiful. All right, hold on. I salt issue. Had a salt on. catastrophe. I'm just glad it didn't go on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, salt. Don't, Anybody need some salt? Me. Okay, I was gonna get a little Let's bit get of salt. All oh yeah. Mm. And then to finish it off. Did I mention we grew this tomato in our garden? Oh my goodness. Okay, oh. there we go. <laughs> okay. All right, and with that, we're gonna say, oh, we're also having um, salmon. Smoked salmon. Yeah. Yes, as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, guys. Oh, Ollie. Oh. Ollie.